Hi everybody. Hi Joel. Hello. Okay, uh, we had a new release. Mm -hmm. And as usual, I have a presentation for you mm -hmm. to tell you everything about the new stuff here. Mm -hmm. So let me actually share the presentation. But before we jump into the new stuff, we have a tip of the day. Okay. And today's tip of the day is a productivity tip, which is use shortcuts and learn shortcuts in VS Code to be more productive. There are these few... are playwright extension shortcuts. Yes, these are playwright extension shortcuts. Mm -hmm. um, we have a few very handy. We find these three very handy shortcuts. Run mm -hmm. tested cursor. We run failed tests and peak output, mm -hmm. which basically shows you the console logs you had in your test. And there is a pro tip. You can configure your own. And to do so, I recently learned it myself. You open the command palette. You type keyboard shortcuts in the search there. And you search the, all the shortcuts for those that start with test column. So that's how you can learn more shortcuts. Maybe you can find something that's suitable for your specific workflow. And you can change them. For example, if you constantly rerun all failed tests, you can remap it to F1, for example, or something really, really simple. OK. On to the new stuff. OK, we have this agenda. And let's jump right away to the very first part of the agenda, which is simpler backend mocking. New in 1.29. And I want to introduce this as a snippet. Say, for example, I'm here doing my test, and I am intercepting this settings request. So what I want to do now, I want to actually go and fetch the original settings request from the server, modify it a little bit, and proceed to the page. What's, what's this settings request going to look like? Oh, it's like, just a JSON with different okay. settings. for whatever. Okay, it says, it says like dark mode true and, and things like that. Precisely, okay. precisely. Yeah, so before I could have used the page.request to do API request to the server, mm -hmm. but now we streamlined this experience for you with a new route.fetch method. So this method will go to the server and return a response for the original request that I intercepted here. Mm -hmm. So now I can actually go and fetch the JSON body, modify the JSON body, and fulfill this route with this original response, with all the headers it had, and with the modified JSON body. OK, so specifying a JSON field here is going to override. Wait, hold on, let me back response. up. So okay. uh, there's, there's two new things going on here, right? So the first thing is route fetch, which mm -hmm. is going to get me. It's going gonna, it's gonna to go to the network and get this settings uh, HTTP response. Yes. And but it's not going to send it back to the web page. It's just going to give it to me in the playwright script. Yes. And then I could so if I did route.fulfill response, it would um it would it would be like a no op. Like it would it would be as if Yes. There's no there's no what there's no interception going on. Exactly. Um but you went and took it and you went and got the JSON, which is a thing we already had like on the fetch response. We have a JSON uh method that returns the data from the route fetch as json mm -hmm. then you went and modified that so you change the, the theme um and yeah. then that's how you spell solarized <laughs> i think so i might have misspelled it <laughs> i don't know well it's a test maybe you're testing with spelling maybe maybe. Just, i don't yes, know how to spell yeah. it <laughs> <laughs> the commenters will let us know um and then you are filling with the response and with JSON instead of the body of the response. So with yes. the new JSON, you just changed. Yes. Okay. Yes, exactly. Okay, nice. Uh, moving on. Yeah, so two new things here, route.fetch and now the new JSON option for fulfill to actually uh, supply the JSON body. Mm -hmm. Next up, working with lists. So this one is very short and very simple. Say, for example, I want to check all the checkboxes on the page. So the way I can do it now, I can just do this loop over the all the checkboxes.all. 
So this new thing, checkboxes.all, returns me an array of locators. Is, is this an array it. or is this a like an iterator? Like if you do like query selector all, it doesn't give me an array, right? It gives me... Uh, this one is a, actually... A, this a, is a real array. array. Okay, good. This is a real array, yes. Yeah, okay. This was fast. No questions here? Yeah. Okay. You could have used we'll, an we'll... async iterator though, but we'll move on. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, next is a new universal retry and assertion. Mm -hmm. What is... I don't know what those words mean. <laughs> yes okay so this is a new thing mm -hmm. and uh, say for example you have a piece of code a program here okay i think i get it okay and i want to retry this piece of program multiple times until it does not throw anything okay so now i have this new to pass expect to pass can i try to explain it and you tell me if i get it wrong yes yes please do. okay so this is like um expect a function to uh to not throw yes and but with the bonus of it can be an async function yes. and it will retry the function until it eventually doesn't throw yes exactly and exactly. this so, function is a playwright function not a javascript function that runs it's a playwright page. function so it runs yes, on the so node side so inside this function, you can use any of our web first assertions. You can use any assertions. Um, yeah. The only thing is to not forget about the very first await before expect. So it's um, await expect. Sure. Yes. Yes. Because because we need to wait for the expect to call our inner function. Yes. Um, this is to pass is the is the predicate of this. Like, is there other? No, you can, say not, you can say not dot to pass. So not then to you pass. expect okay. it to throw. Yes. And, and then it'll wait for it to throw the first time. <laughs> yes, precisely okay. to fail. Whatever. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, okay, next stuff. Uh, miscellaneous. And then we have a bunch of things here. Uh, so the very first is that playwright test now understands and respects JS config.json. Previously it did TS config, right? Yeah, now it also has yeah. uh, cool. JS config. So for those who don't know, uh, JS config is the same thing as TS config with allow JS uh, through. This mm -hmm. also marks the root of your uh, JavaScript project. Uh, we have new options for Android device launch browser. It now understands args and proxy. We now support serializable values in post data. So you can supply a JSON there and continue. And finally, this might be an interesting one, the select option now matches by default by value or label. So you have this locator select, select option red, and it will go to and try to find the value, and if it doesn't work with the value, then try to find by label. Okay, so value is prioritized? Yes. But it uh, comes, like this is more or less natural thing for you to expect from a select option. Yeah. Okay, and then we have also a new automatic screenshot configuration. So before you have this screenshot, which is only on failure, on on or off, and this is how you actually take a screenshot after the tests. Now you can also supply an object here. The object has mode, and you can also configure the screenshots that you take. You can say if it's a full page mm -hmm. screenshot or whether they should omit background, which is cool. very handy. Nice. And uh, this is it for the video. So Playwright 129, mm -hmm. it has a simpler backend mocking using the route.fetch and route fulfill. We have new API for locator.all to get the locators for all the elements in the list. We have a new universal retry assertion, expect callback to pass. And we have a bunch of new issues, uh, issues <laughs> a bunch of new features, such as uh, new arguments for Android device, uh, new behavior for select options, which is more handy, and uh, what else was there? It was something nice? Oh yeah, JS config support. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> yeah. Uh, good. So if you like what we do, please uh, sign up to our Twitter. Check out our YouTube. Uh, you can read more about Playwright at Playwright.dev, and uh, do give us a star on our GitHub. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, and uh, happy holidays everywhere uh, and everybody. Bye. Thank you. Bye.